fatty acids contain on an average 9 calories per gram of fat. So if you want 125 calories from overt fat, it means you would need around 15 grams of pure fatty acids from your overt fat sources. Oil contains about 100% fat, that would mean 18 milliliters because fat is lighter than water. About 18 milliliters of oil would give you all the calories and fatty acids that you could need per day. You want to take about two-thirds of your fatty acids from coconut or olive oil. So let's say on the Sunday you would take coconut fat, young coconut or coconut raw, unfiltered, cold-pressed, organic fat. So you would need about 12 gram of that and about 6 gram of fat from your nut of the day, let's say sunflower seeds. You can do the calculation. You will see it's a pretty small amount and that you will consume with your breakfast salad around 9 o'clock. Also there you can have some non-sweet fruit like tomato, cucumber, bell peppers, etc. And some easy greens like lettuce, chard, spinach, etc. And I would suggest to limit the complete meal to maximum one kilogram of food and you can make a small dressing with your fat sauces and maybe some lemon juice if you want some spices i usually use cumin a little bit of ginger maybe some aromatic herbs like oregano basil in a small quantity and you will have a wonderful easily digestible meal which gives you all your overt fats that you need different minerals the mineral balance is also an important subject matter there are mainly two groups that are important the potassium sodium ratio which is important especially for the intra and extracellular fluids in the body and there is the calcium phosphorus ratio which is especially important for the pH level in the body but we will not go into detail here you can study the Chapnak chart of Sapoti Brook on that subject matter here again keep your salads simple find a good ratio between the non-sweet fruits and your greens eat if possible only one non-sweet fruit and maybe one or two types of greens at a time and food groups that are completely unnecessary and unnatural for the human body because they are mainly undigestible and not needed at all that's the whole range of roots which only became somewhat digestible by cultivation it's possible if we don't have any other things available if we chew them very well we can have some roots but it's not necessary and they're not very attractive actually not really tasty not really chewy you can easily just leave them out and then there are also those leaves that we've been told are so healthy especially also the cabbages like kale etc also completely unnecessary full of sulfur compounds etc which are gas forming hard cellulose which is not really digestible that's why many people start juicing because they think they need it but it's completely unnecessary you will find if you follow what i suggest so keep your salad simple and have a nice easily digestible salad meal around nine o'clock with your few overt fatty acids in them and then when you have nicely digested that about four hours later around 1 p.m you can have your main meal and your last meal for the day now you had around 250 calories in your salad meal you had around 250 calories in your juicy fruit breakfast leaves you with another around 2000 calories that you may need for the rest of your day and be assured 
if you follow this you will need much less calories than you may think it's a trap to think you will need as much calories as you used to need in your previous eating because this way of eating is much more efficient so this meal should be solely constituted of very ripe very sweet very tasty fruit and it should be ideally a mono meal or maybe two maximum three types of fruits which are compatible with each other the general succession should always be from the more juicy easily digestible fruit first then a little bit more heavy fruit second and the most heavy fruit last one example would be to have 500 gram of mango and a very ripe mango a very sweet mango has about 100 calories per 100 gram i'm talking about just the meat of the mango take out the grams for the skin and the seed so you may need maybe 800 grams of mango to get 500 grams of mango meat so you have 500 calories then you take also about 500 grams of very ripe sweet jackfruit which again has around 80 to 100 calories if it's very ripe and sweet you will need again about 8 or 900 grams of jackfruit for 500 grams of jackfruit meat so you add another 500 grams of very sweet juicy and tasty jackfruit meat which has so many nutrients antioxidants etc unbelievable great fruit that amounts to 1000 calories and then you can have about 10 bananas which is another 1000 calories and you have your 2000 calories complete if for example you cannot get the highest quality of sweet fruit always you can prepare yourself some soaked dates and eat them at the very end to make up for the lesser calories let's say if your mangoes were not that sweet or if your jackfruit were not that sweet then you count about what is the lack of calories from the lesser sweetness let's say you're missing 300 calories then you add 100 gram of soaked dates and you eat them as a dessert so you get your calories in so you will not be calorie deficient that is one example i don't want to make the video too long i know i missed a lot of points if there are any questions then i can make some follow-up videos so that's the basic thing that i want to give you as a present from my many years of study and experimentation and i am sure if you approach this type of regimen with enough patience and loving care for yourself for your body and your mental system give yourself time to approach this we can also discuss how we can approach this type of nutrition you will have amazing results and i'm looking forward to hearing from you may the om love be with us Jai Shri Radhe Shyam. If you like this presentation, please feel free to press the like button and for the benefit of all, you are invited to share with the world. Thank you very much.